Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Also, if you are new, welcome. This video is jam-packed full of cleaning motivation. So if you are looking to get some big projects done around your house or some small, this is guaranteed to get you guys up and going. I'm starting off in the bedroom, fairly normal day, but I needed to strip the bed, but I'm also going to be doing a bunch of deep cleaning projects in today's video. My washing machine, I haven't done a good deep clean on that in a bit now, as well as the track in my sliding glass doors, a little bit all over this house of deep cleaning going on. So if you guys are in the need of some extreme cleaning motivation, this is the perfect video for you. Like I said though, starting off in the bedroom, I'm not really making the bed here. I just want to get the blankets back on it because I had some laundry I had to put away. So it's always nice to just have it looking nice until I get back in here with my clean sheets later on. So it's funny watching this back now because I recently had a comment on my Kanmari closet declutter video that I did like five years ago now. So obviously back at the old house and seeing the amount of clothes I had then compared to now, like I had definitely a lot more, um, but I really appreciate how much I've decluttered over the years. It makes life so much easier. And realistically, if we're honest with ourselves, we would probably wear only about 10% of our wardrobe. Um, but yeah, looking at my closet now, it was kind of funny to see the huge difference. I'm quickly just tidying up the laundry room. The laundry room always becomes a drop zone. So if there's like tools that were left out here, there was like stuff from painting and doing stuff all around the house. It just kind of collects over the time. Now, if you remember a couple weeks ago now, I did a good thorough deep cleaning on our dryer. But like I said, I did not do the washing machine. So I wanted to make sure that I got in here today and really cleaned it out, especially because often around that ring with it being a front loader gets a lot of hair buildup and stuff just from having animals and the hair being on our clothing. So I want, knew I wanted to get in there and get all of that done. Eventually, I'd like to do more to this laundry room. It honestly is never top of mind because we have made it very usable with adding these cabinets for storage. Um, so it doesn't really bother me. Plus, it's not a main area in our house. And it's such an awkward layout that I'm trying to figure out what's best here. Because as you can see, we have the water heater here uh, behind this curtain to the left in this corner. You can see it. That is our AC and heat unit. So yeah, but I'm quickly emptying the drain of the water. This is at the bottom of pretty much every washing machine and cleaning out this filter. I know a lot of people don't even realize there is a filter down here, but this is where it catches all that dirt and grime. It's not horrendous as you can see, because I do try and stay on top of it. But if you have never cleaned yours, be ready to be shocked. Just make sure when you do all this, you have a towel laying out. You have a um, some sort of container to catch the water because there is a lot of water that likes to release when you do this part of the washing machine. And then after I was all done, just quickly cleaning all of this out, I wanted to take out the um, laundry detergent compartment and just throw it in the sink with some bleach and let that clean out as well. Without 
about you. This is something that so just went looking at cars the other day. Um, I have five payments left on our lease currently. And I was like, okay, now's about the time to start looking into stuff and figuring out. Oh, by the way, I'm using the Zep wall cleaner to clean this out. Works great. Zep wall cleaner works on so many things other than your walls. If you have not tried it out, definitely try it out. It is well worth it. But like I was saying, so I have five payments left on my lease and in the past, I've always just right around this time traded up into um, the same vehicle, but newer year. Uh, it's one of the reasons I enjoy leasing, but oh my goodness, if you have not gone car shopping in a while, such shell shock for interest rates and everything. Uh, now, mind you, I have really good credit. So I even just three years ago when we leased this car, it was what? I don't know. 1.9, 2.9, 3.9, something like that. Um, and nowadays, like you have excellent credit and you're still at 6% plus on interest rates. Plus the price of cars have gone up by so much that we actually ended up just buying out our lease. I love our minivan. And it's funny because I said I would never be a minivan mom, but here I am and I absolutely love it. So no matter what, I was going to get another minivan and I drive a Honda, they run forever, and to trade into the newer model, which only be like two years newer because ours was a 2022 and we'd be going into a 2024, was going to be like $150 more a month. So, ended up just buying out our lease, which I am totally okay with. I love our van, but yeah, I was very much shell-shocked and surprised by the crazy interest rates and the crazy pr price of new vehicles nowadays. Everything has gotten so out of control. Um, but after I scrubbed out these containers, I just wanted to put it all back together and put it back in. And then I actually buy these washing machine tabs right on Amazon. Um, I'm gonna show you here. And then I just run it through a heavy duty cleaning cycle and it does it all the rest yourself. You can also use baking soda or vinegar or something like that. But these tabs to me just make it super easy and simple um, and easy to remember because sometimes I just don't think about it. But with it being in this cabinet, it's real easy for me to see it and be like, oh yeah, I should do that. Now, also because this laundry room, like I said, it's a not well used, well, it's a used area, but it's not something you think about deep cleaning on a regular basis. I wanted to get in here and do more of a deep cleaning on it. Um, so this area had a bunch of dust and buildup. So I got in here first with the vacuum, always, especially if you're dealing with something that's like really dusty, always vacuum it first. It's going to save you so much more time or at least dry dust before white wet dusting makes a huge difference. But I wanna get in here and clean off the baseboards and different areas like that. Um, like I said, there's still a lot to do in here. So I just don't think about it. I've said before, like it's easy to keep my house clean in areas that I think are pretty. Um, and I know that can sound silly, but it is like, rooms that I really enjoy the way they look, it's a lot easier for me to keep them clean. Uh, and areas that I'm just like, eh, on, it's really easy for me to neglect. My laundry room is one of those eh rooms that I seem to neglect, but I needed to get in here and do a really good deep cleaning. It also gets like extra dirty because it is the first room you walk in off of the garage. So if Bobby's working outside, this is where he comes in first and wipes everything down so the door gets extra dirty. You got all the stuff on people's shoes before they take them off that gets extra dirty, just everything. So getting in here was definitely a necessity. We are going to be putting on some quarter round around these baseboards that we haven't gotten to, to yet. But once again, it's one of those areas that I just don't uh, put as much effort in as the rest of the house and I need to get better at that. 
but off into the kitchen to start working on in here and get this all tidied up. Cleaning my cast iron, I try to keep it really simple. I asked you guys a couple of videos back how you clean your cast irons. And most of you clean it like me where try not to use too much soap and stuff on it. Um, I'm the same way. If there's soap that happens to come on it, I use it. But I try and keep it off of my cast irons as much as possible um, just to maintain the seasoning on it and everything. And I know you can re-season your cast irons. Um, and I have definitely done that before, but I do try to avoid that. But I wanted to give the sink a good scrub out. I try and do like a thorough scrub out at least once a week. And that means using like my barkeeper's friend and stuff like that. On a daily basis, I'll just use soap and water and do a quick little wipe down. But I definitely think the barkeeper's friend just gives it a really nice thorough cleaning because you have that little bit more of abrasion, uh, but really any cream cleanser. You could use just a, even a little bit of baking soda with your dish soap and that would do the same thing. Um, and as long as you stay on top of it, I feel like it never gets too, too bad. Also, if you have not tried the Scrub Mommy, I 100% recommend trying the Scrub Mommy. I don't even buy Scrub Daddies anymore because basically the Mommy is that with a sponge all in one. Plus, I really like that it's white and not all those crazy colors. And I know that is silly, but to me, it definitely does make a huge difference. Now, when I do clean my cast iron, I will do one of two things. Either I put it on the stove and let it dry with the heat or I'll do what you see me doing now and just quickly um, dry it off and put it away. Just kind of depends on how much time I had. And then I actually had my Walmart delivery show up. I ordered some organizers from, um, I'm losing what it is. What is it? The home edit. Is that what it is? Because now that I've done a lot of decluttering this year and uh, gone through stuff. This is when I like to start organizing um, is after doing a big declutter. I think it's really important to declutter first before buying organizers and doing all of that. So that is what I did, but I'm not going to use these in this video. I had enough other things on my plate this day that I ended up just putting this in the cabinets in the dining room and I will be using those in an upcoming video because my bathroom and a couple other drawer areas of the house I want to get more organized. One of them being the kids bathroom. I want their drawers to be more organized and then possibly figuring out a little bit better system for my junk drawer and a couple drawers in the kitchen. I always say decluttering and organizing is not a one and done thing. It is something that you're going to constantly be changing depending on your life because I know for me, I just got rid of all my plastic dishes. The kids are old enough and I've gotten to where I just trust them enough that I didn't want to deal with glass and plastic and all that. So I got rid of all my plastic, which means I've got more room in my drawers than I used to in my kitchen. So I'm going to be doing some reorganizing coming up very, very soon. Um, but just on these counters, I'm using my thieves cleaner and wiping everything down. And then because there was a burnt spot on that stove, I just sprayed that one, uh, burner with some oven cleaner. I pretty much only ever have to do that one burner cause it's the main burner that I use. And then I needed to get and clean the lower cabinets, the lower cabinets by my sink and by the Island always get so dirty. I don't know how things are always getting like dripped 
onto them, but they're they're always filthy. So I wanted to go in and get all of those a really good cleaning. And then I like to lift up my chairs. I know I always, for people that are new here and don't follow me, I'm always getting questions about lifting up my chairs onto the counters. Uh, but I like to do that even if I don't plan on mopping and vacuuming. Um, even if it's just the robot vacuum, I like to do that to get it all the way out of the way and do a thorough cleaning. I always figure I can wipe down my island one more time when I'm done. Um, it just makes my life easier. I don't know. I know, <laughs> I know a lot of people think it's silly, but my mom always did that it that way. I'm sure my grandma always did it that way. And it's how I do it whenever I clean. Um, pretty much every day my chairs are on my counter because in my house, vacuuming and floor cleaning is a daily basis between three kids, animals, whatnot. These floors are always dirty. And it doesn't even matter to me where I go. I just feel I need to take a ride. Got my coffee cup to go and I'm gonna hit the road tonight. Now my wheels in motion and my windows open with the wind blowing in my hair. I'm driving down the highway, gonna do this my way. I can feel it in the air. Here I go. And then after I was all done in the kitchen, this is the track to my sliding glass door. So lots of dirt and dog hair and just stuff that gets caught in these tracks. Um, it's really easy to forget about cleaning them. And today was definitely the day that I wanted to go in and give it a really, really good cleaning, especially because when I start noticing that my doors don't want to slide as easy, it's definitely a good indicator that they're getting really, really dirty. So just going in and vacuuming out all the big stuff first. And then once again, I'm going in with that Zep wall cleaner. Like I said, don't sleep on this stuff. It is so good. It works on pretty much everything. I've used it on tough spots on my floors, my walls, as you saw my um, laundry, all of it. It works so good. And then just the scrub brush to loosen everything up pretty much gets it completely clean. If there's areas that get really bad, like I've really neglected it, I'll pull up my um, steam cleaner. But I try not to do that on a regular basis because it's great at getting in crevices that may be harder to get with any other tool. But one thing about steam cleaners you have to know is that steam comes out with such pressure that it does shoot everything out of those cracks but everything that shoots out has to go somewhere. Uh, so it can be messy as well. So if I can get in here with just my scrub brush and my basic stuff, I try to do that without having to pull out the steamer. However, coming up really soon, I'm gonna have to pull it out to get the side of my stove because there's definitely some dirt and grime that I have not been able to get at nearly as easy and I know that thing will shoot it out. Um, also, little cracks around my fridge and stuff I noticed today that I definitely need to pull that thing out and give everything a really thorough deep cleaning with it. And here you have little Miss Freya, my little sidekick with her one leg up, one leg down sweatpants. It has been chilly here in Florida, which I know it's been way worse up north, Midwest area. My family has definitely been telling me how miserable it's been up there. But for here, it's been chilly too. Um, and I know definitely heat and cold is very relative to what your body is used to. So I actually had to just go out and buy Freya more sweatpants because she loves wearing princess dresses. Absolutely loves it. And it's been a fight to get her to wear pants. Um, 
but she really likes this Coco Melon one. And then she got ones from Christmas that had a unicorn top. She loves those, but she doesn't want to wear anything else. So I went and got more sweatpants for her today that honestly will probably end up going under her princess dresses. But I figure as long as she war she's warm, that is all that matters because she is definitely my little Florida girl. She gets cold a lot easier than any of us. And I think it's because even though obviously she's lived in Florida as long as we have, she's a lot younger. So she's actually lived down here longer than she lived in Wisconsin because she was so young when we moved that she gets cold so much easier. But she will like put up with being cold just to wear her princess dresses. Wearing the t-shirt you left, but it no longer smells like you do. I can stand to feel this way. My body's grieving now your name. I didn't want to say goodbye to you, but you're gone. If you are a coffee junkie like I am, I highly recommend this espresso machine. We have had it now for over a year and I love it. Bobby and I used to do Starbucks every single day, every single day. And we ended up after making this little coffee bar area, buying this espresso machine. And it's not the like cheapest, cheapest espresso machine, but it's also not the most expensive. Um, and it's definitely more on the cheaper end. We did, there were a couple that we looked at that were like way fancy. Um, but if you guys know anything about espresso machines, like the good ones are like $600. Insane. I think this one was like a hundred, 150 when we bought it. Um, so like I said, it's not cheap. I'm not going to say it's a $50 machine. Um, but compared to the average cost, it was a lot cheaper. And this thing works great. Now, I mainly use it to make iced coffee because that's how Bobby and I like to drink it. But we have done it a couple of times where we've made hot coffee and used the steamer to steam the milk. And that worked out great too. So I love this thing. I, like I said, we use it every day, usually at least once a day. And once a day meaning one for Bobby, one for myself. But often, Bobby will have two coffees in a day. He is more of a coffee drinker than I am. Highly, highly recommend if you are into Starbucks like I was, an addiction, investing in one of these. Honestly, they pay for themselves pretty quickly if you are someone that's going on a daily basis. But going into these cabinets, I noticed the other day when I was putting stuff away that all these glass shelves were just getting dusty and whatnot. Oh yeah, my short self. I needed my kid's step stool. Um, so I wanted to take everything out and give it a really, really good cleaning. I haven't done this. I don't think I've done this since putting this little area together. So we did that, what, a year ago now or coming up on a year, I actually take it out and clean it all. So it was in desperate need. But once again, it's something I don't usually think about. It's like behind doors, whatnot, but the dust was getting to me. So I want to take everything out, wipe down all the glass shelves, and just give everything a really, really thorough deep cleaning. I'm the light cause I got you. I have always been afraid of changes, but you show me life is full of faces. Sometimes clouds got in our favorite places, but we were young and unaware. So people are always asking where I got these different cups from. So the ones that I'm taking out right now with the floral, those are actually a gift from, oh, I don't even remember now. One of Bobby's um, aunts or uncles, uh, 
way back when we got married. I know that sounds horrible, but we're going, coming up on 14 years this July. So it's been a long time. Um, the ones in the middle, the kids use for hot cocoa. Those we got from Timu. And then our glass cups that we use for our iced coffee, I got those from Amazon. All of them, absolutely love them. This side, though, a lot of this stuff is more decorative. Uh, we do use the Moscow Mule glasses sometimes, but not on the regular. Um, and then, obviously, we use the wine glasses. But everything else in here is more just decorative, uh, family, like, heirloom-type things or things with meaning different steins that Bobby got from family or one of them I know is a military mug that he got from something. I don't know. But I like to keep these cabinets like useful but also pretty. That's why we put the glass doors on. If I wanted them to be more like just storage storage, I would have gone with full panel doors. But since it is not a panel door, I like to make sure that everything in here looks really nice this uh cake plate though i actually got that from target it's part of the magnolia collection and i love it i love the look of it um i put it in here when i'm not using it but i love when i do have like little cakes or breads or something to put on it and bring it out because i think it is so pretty and just classic Unfortunately, it doesn't have that like hole on the bottom to do that little trick of turning it into a punch bowl. Um, but yes, this cake plate right here, I love this one. Also, when it comes to cleaning glass in my house, a lot of you guys already know this, but the Spray Away, absolute favorite glass cleaner, and I use a two cloth method. So I always will wipe with one cloth and then come in with a glass polishing cloth that's dry to polish it clean. That's how I make sure it's streak free. Any lingering dust that may be on there or dog hair, you guys know if you have dogs that it ends up everywhere and it can be a pain to take apart um, or get off of whatever it's on. The glass polishing one always does a awesome job with getting rid of the rest of it. But now I wanted to go in and give everything a good mopping. I got this mop. Um, it's now been a couple weeks since I talked about it last and I love this mop. I actually do still have my spin mop because I'm just, I don't know, I have not been able to pull the trigger of getting rid of my O-Cedar, but when it comes to grabbing for mops, this is the one I grab for on the regular. I've actually tried it also on the walls and even the cleaning the glass sliding door just because it's nice because I don't <laughs> have to reach as far with this one and it works so well if you haven't heard me talk about this one this one is different because it separates the clean and dirty which I know the newer o cedars do but where the clean water comes out of actually has a scrubber on it so it completely scrubs your mop head clean before using it again love the concept of this. It works, like I said, so well. The mop is nice and wet, but not so wet that it's taking forever for your floors to dry. I don't know. Definitely been impressed with this one. I got influenced by TikTok to buy this, and I am very, very happy with it. Honestly, a lot of the stuff that I have been influenced off of TikTok, now it's not a ton, I do try to control myself, um, but the few things that I have been influenced to buy, I have been really, really happy with.
So I'm excited because we have a bunch of exciting stuff coming up soon. You guys saw, obviously we did the fourth bedroom makeover. Absolutely obsessed with the way that turned out. Um, hopefully within the next week or so, I'm going to be updating the room that Bjorn's in right now. Um, I have some ideas. The ideas honestly weren't that hard. Both boys love the way that Xander's room turned out. Um, that I'm going a lot of off of that. Um, but yeah, we're going to have some fun with that. Freya's room is going to be getting a revamp coming up. I don't know when, probably within the next couple months or something. I don't have any set times, but when I first did Freya's room, she didn't really have a bunch of likes and dislikes. She didn't really talk to be able to vocalize what she wanted so I went with that more whimsical underwater theme but she has definitely come into her personality being three now and she really wants a princess bedroom so I'm trying to figure out what I can do for a princess bedroom the fun thing is is when I was growing up I had a princess Disney theme bedroom also and my mom made a bunch of Disney character pieces so like Cinderella in her carriage Snow White in the seven dwarfs and things like that um for my bedroom and my sister's bedroom we shared a bedroom um for many many years so my mom still has some of them not all of them some of them broke over the years but she still has some of them and I'm excited to get those from her because she's asked me multiple times if I wanted them. And I'm like, well, I don't really have anywhere to put them. So she's just been holding on to them. But I'm excited that now I'm actually going to have somewhere to use them in Freya's room. And it'll go with the theme that she really wanted us to use. So, but I am in, this is where Bjorn sleeps, Bjorn's room, um, and I'm just giving you a quick tidy up. You guys know me. My kids are supposed to take care of their own rooms. But once a week, once every other week, I like to come in and give everything a really good wipe down and then clean up stuff off the floor. And either I will hand vacuum and mop or I just send the robot vac vacuum in here to clean it up. Kind of depends on how dirty it is. On this day, I was just getting everything set up so that the robot vacuum could come in. Between all the other stuff I was going and getting done, I was honestly getting tired at this point. Um, but I knew there was a couple other areas in the house that I really wanted to focus on. And I also wanted to get the kids' rooms done before the boys got home from school. That's usually my goal is work on it when they're not around. That way I'm not bugging them when they do get home about everything going on. And I think it's a fun little surprise. Like, like I said, my Kids are expected to clean up their own rooms, make their beds, pick up their toys, check for dishes and garbage, whatnot. Um, now, is it perfect? No, but when I ask them to do it, they do it. But I feel like there's something special about when you get home from school and you can walk into your room and it's just clean. Make even a bad day at school turn good. So one thing I am doing when we get back to doing Bjorn's room refresh makeover um, is I'm actually going to have Bobby put the closet doors back up. However, I'm trying to figure out if I want to reface them. Uh, currently, they are the slatted bifold doors, and I despise the slatted ones. Uh, mainly for cleaning purposes. A big part of my cleaning thing is making your life easier. So things like blinds and slatted doors, I'm not a fan of, <laughs> but that is what came with the house. But I've seen some really cool uh, things people have done to change that up that I think I might try and see if I can make it more of a normal door and not the slatted ones. Um, here in Freya's room, I didn't have too much to do. She is really good at when I tell her to put her clothes away, she brings them in and puts it in this basket by her mirror, which is fine. 
as long as she's trying to keep her room clean, I try to give uh, chores that are age appropriate and have age appropriate expectations when I ask them to do something. Um, so obviously how Freya cleans her room compared to how Xander 11 cleans her, his room is going to be very, very different. Um, so I was just going in and actually putting away her clothes. And then once again, I wanted to make it that the vacuum could come in here and do a good cleaning. And then I did notice that her dresser was very dusty. Even though her dresser is white, I have to say this seems to hide dust better than most furniture in my house. And unless I'm like getting really up close and personal with it, I don't even notice how dirty it is sometimes. Uh, but it was definitely in a need of some really good wipe downs. So I made a mistake here at this step and I've said it before how you're supposed to do it and I did not do it correctly. But this would have made my life so much easier to clean this vent if I would have dry dusted it and then sprayed it and wet dusted it. Uh, but I did not. I did not feel like going and grabbing either the vacuum or the Swifter. It was me being lazy and I doubled my amount of work. So don't be like me. If you are cleaning vents, especially vents, I usually recommend grabbing a vacuum and vacuuming it first. But even if you just have a Swiffer, that would make life so much easier. Like I said, I did not. And then it's like nitpicky to actually get all the dust off once it's wet. It makes it so much harder. So definitely something to keep in mind. Now off into Xander's room. His room honestly didn't need too much work going on. He'd already made his bed before school. So I did straighten it up more to how I would make the bed. But he did a good job. He made his bed before school. Um, and then I wanted to dust everything off. So pretty simple. His room is a lot easier to go through just because he is 11. So he just maintains it a lot better than the other two kids. But even for him, I like to come in here and give it a really good cleaning. Plus, like I said, I wanted the vacuum to come in here and clean all the kids' rooms. So by me going into each room, when I was done, I was then able to send the vacuum in to vacuum and mop. And I was able to get all of this done before I got the boys from school, which was my main goal was to get all of this done before I had to pick them up. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it motivated you to get some stuff done in your house. Um, or maybe you just were relaxing watching this video. Whatever it was, I hope you got what you were looking for. If you're new here, though, I would love if you would subscribe. Join us. This is the best community here on YouTube. And everyone's here just to lift each other up, give inspiration, and really have each other's backs. So if you're new, definitely subscribe. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye.